This week's Thomas Index Report is sponsored by Sigma Thermal, an ISO certified small business specializing in the manufacture of standard and custom wastewater treatment equipment and systems. Welcome to the Thomas Index Report for the week of June 29th. As a quick reminder, before we start today's index report, you can find all of our COVID-19 resources and register your industrial business as a COVID-19 response supplier by visiting thomasnet.com COVID-19. This week, we're delving into sourcing activity for wastewater treatment equipment and related services. On the thomasnet.com platform, sourcing activity for wastewater treatment equipment is up 39% year over year and 49% over last quarter averages. In related category searches for wastewater treatment engineering services are up 71% year over year and 150% over Q1 averages. And sourcing for wastewater disposal services is up 73% year over year and 43% over last quarter's figures. Wastewater treatment equipment has been getting more nationwide attention lately, which is likely a factor contributing to its increased sourcing activity. The U.S. Department of Agriculture announced in late May that it plans to invest $281 million in 106 projects to improve water and wastewater infrastructure across the country. The projects will involve replacing underperforming and outdated water pipes and other water handling systems in rural neighborhoods across 36 states and Puerto Rico. The program is part of the Water and Waste Disposal loan and grant program, which offers long-term low-interest loans to eligible applicants like state and local governments and private nonprofits to deliver clean water and offer sanitary waste disposal in rural areas across the United States. I'm Tony Uphoff, and this is the Thomas Index Report.